A short foraging video showing you how to identify and locate bilberries. We'll also be showing you how to make your own fruit picker. Hope you enjoy watching the video. On the 25th of June, we're out picking bilberries. And you'll find bilberries on steep slopes, in wooded areas, often where there's um, heather. And we've made a makeshift uh, berry picker, just by knocking some nails in a piece of wood. <laughs> and we have a little uh, uh, a roller uh, a roller tray, and uh, it works very simply. It combs the berries out, and they pop inside the They're very delicate berries, so they're easily crushed. Absolutely beautiful flavour. Of course you have to watch out for adders in any wooded areas, in especially if you live in Devon. And you watch out, have to watch out for your bull terriers eating all the berries that you collect. Typical setting for finding bilberries, usually on steep hillsides, a little bit of tree cover. These are the plants we're looking for. To make our berry picker we're using a scoop it's from a garden centre and we're using a little piece of hardwood which we'll saw down so that it fits snugly inside the scoop. The hardwood will then be secured to the scoop with a couple of self-tappers, self-tapping screws and we'll put a row of nails along um, the hardwood uh, to enable us to pick the berries. For the wood to fit uh, snugly inside the scoop 
we will need to cut the corners off both sides. To make our comb for the fruit, we need to drive in our nails. to go in so they can't be pulled out easily so they need to be driven in a fair way On the opposite side of your timber to where you've notched it to fit the scoop, um, or the flat, the flat side, uh, we, we drive in a series of nails. You need to drive them in far enough so that they, there's no chance of them coming out. And then what we'll need to do is the pair of, with a pair of snips is just nip off the heads, and this will leave us with a comb for the fruit. You will need to wear safety glasses when you're cutting the heads as they fly or turn your head away. Once you've cut the heads off, just you'll need to tap the nail heads the, the nails back in just to make sure they're all seated nice and firm. In case you loosen them with a snip. The two notches we've cut on our piece of wood so they fit snugly into the scoop. We've added a, a row of nails which we've cut the heads off uh, to give us the comb for the fruit means the branches will pass through and the leaves will pass through. This is the scoop we've, we've got. This is the piece of wood that we've cut the, the corners off so that it fits snugly inside. We've added the row of nails along one side of the of the, of the piece of wood and then we've cut the heads off the nails and this gives us a comb so the branches pass through and it takes off the fruit and the leaves pass through obviously you'll catch a few leaves but not many and then this will be secured with a self tapping screw in either side job done now we'll try the scoop on some black currants they're not ripe but just to show you the principle there you go This scoop will be used to harvest my bumper crop of black ones. See also my raised bed garden. And we're just starting to get the first few ripening off. But this crop is huge. Well, we tried the wood, but the problem with the wood is, is the nails tend to split the wood. So what we've done is we've got a piece of PVC, it's the type that's got expanded, it's sort of foam based. Um, you can get off cuts of PV skirting, PVC skirting boards or you know go to a window factory and get an off cut of this stuff and um, yeah it's, it's, it's looking pretty cool. It, it takes the, the nails and the nails are held fast. It'll take the screws and the screws are held fast. So I think it's a much slicker design than with the wood. We've popped the screw in and we've actually placed the PVC on an angle so we've got screwing from either side and one in from the bottom to hold it at the angle. I'm sure this is a much better design than the timber. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do check out my other videos, you'll find them very interesting. Especially the videos about inclined bed therapy. If you build one of these uh, fruit pickers can you come back and let us know how you get on if you have um, any exciting recipes uh, for bilberries and any other berries that you harvest I'm sure that everyone here would like to know I certainly would um, we've tried it with ice cream with cheesecake 
uh, mostly raw, but there must be a lot of cooked re recipes for bilberries and, uh, and blueberries out there. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Bye for now.